Yeah, hi and welcome back. Another little tech article here on uh, building engines. And uh, this is the uh, six pack 440 that I did a video on quite a while ago. And I'm just getting back into doing uh, some final assembly on it. I just want to show you uh, an item there that most uh, people don't experience. Some may, if they're looking at uh, high performance engine blocks or high performance engine assemblies, that are for sale is something to keep an eye out and why I'm showing you here the uh, main saddle bores and I'll show you the caps also is something that unique happens to uh, engines that uh, are really wound up high and this is a syndrome or a condition they call cap walk and you can see here some what looks like I hope it comes into focus very light pitting at the parting line where the cap meets the block number two is worse than number one especially on the one side again number three not so bad number four is the worst as you can see here this this pitting it is not actually the metallurgical term is called fretting and it's like these mic it's little it's like micro porosities when the clamping force of the fixture loses its ability to clamp and and the cap is actually separating from the saddle and as i mean this is in this is very very small movement but what happens the material is starting to be it's starting to be removed and that's why they say this is why you end up with what looks like pitting but it isn't actually pitting it's what they call fretting, and you can look up the terminology on YouTube or on uh, Wikipedia or a few other uh, any any of these websites that deal with the metallurgical properties, and say the number five is the cleanest. It's it has the least amount of fretting in it, and I have some ideas why number four is the worst, and I think it has to do with oiling, because if uh, on big block Chrysler's. Um, if you're going to have a failure, a rod and a rod failure, and a crank failure, not nine times out of ten, this is the journal it happens on, because the oil has to make a sharp right angle turn, and there's a cure for that, and I'll get into that a little bit uh, in some in a in a, a video down the road on how to cure that for guys that are really going balls out with the 440s, and they're going to aftermarket oiling systems. So this is just something I wanted to show people that weren't aware of it. So if you're actually out there looking to buy a, a block or a, you know something that's been raced, this is something to keep an eye out for because it is not a good sign, right? Like I say, this th what's happened here is not totally detrimental, and with the caps. This is number one, this is number five. And like I say, the worst would be number four. I don't know if it'll show up on the, but you can polish them out slightly on the caps. You can in the block without getting into extensive machine work. Uh, you know, then you're talking about uh, line boring. And I mean, on a stock block, that, that's just not worth it. But anyway, was it something I wanted to point out to you folks there that, uh, you know, want a little more information on high performance engines and what to look for and what to, you know, watch out for? And this is just an item that come up. And that's all I wanted to show you. And so there'll be lots of, lots of things like this, little things that uh, you don't typically come across. And like I said, because of this engine, you know, it used uh, back in the day, it used heavy components. It used original six-pack rods. Um, they were a lightweight Brooks piston, but like I say, it went through the traps around 7,100 RPM, uh, and that's a massive assembly to be spinning that high. So it's like I say, it's no wonder there's, uh, it shows signs of uh, fretting you know, on the uh, saddles. Anyways, thanks, and I'll be back with some more videos later.